than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. The sacrifice que tu fais. Quand toutes les chances sont contre toi. When you can't push one more second. Chase the glory. Viseo. U Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats U Sport, une présentation de Fox 40, title partner of the U Sports Coach of the Year Awards, fier partenaire des prix des entraîneurs de l'année U Sport, Vera Burn Medical Supply, exclusive sports medicine and medical supply partner of U Sports, le partenaire exclusif de U Sport en matière de médecine sportive et des fournitures médicales. Nike Team, exclusive performance apparel provider. Just do it. Fier partenaire de Usport. Faites-le. Baron, exclusive championship rings and recognition jewelry provider to U Sports. Le fournisseur officiel des bagues et bijoux commémoratifs des championnats U Sport. Sport Canada, funding partners of U Sports. Sport Canada, partenaire financier de U Sport. No okay, it's all good after. Good afternoon and welcome to the U Sports Women's Rugby Championship on CBC. I'm Keith Lumby along with Julia Greenshields and Chris Blackman as we get set to bring you this U Sports final in the Molinex Cup matchup between Queen's Gales and Rouge et Or from Laval. Hey U Sports fans. You too can celebrate today's gold medal victory by either Laval or Queens with your very own commemorative apparel from T. Litson Sports. Starting tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern, visit shop.usports.ca to purchase your piece of history. But hurry, supplies will go fast on this limited time offer. That's the U Sports Championship Collection on sale tomorrow at shop.usports.ca. So, gang, here we go. All the money's on the line. This is it. This is what they've all been playing for. Queens are back to defend their championship. Rouge Or from Laval, that stalwart defensive line that we saw two days ago. Julia, what are you expecting? Yeah, from Friday night, we know Ottawa, our Queens beat Ottawa 22 to 17, and they did a really good job in the final minutes of maintaining that lead. Of course, we have Laval, who won over 12, 30 to 8. I'm sure that gave them a lot of confidence going into this gold medal game. Just seen an interesting tactic here by the Laval team. They've, they've uh, gone off field into the stadium just to get warm and perhaps a last minute uh, opportunity by the coach to be in alignment with the strategy for today. Uh, so they're not on the field right now. They they came out, they had a bit of a warm up. Just went off to the far stands, the far stadium as we can speak. And we'll certainly allow the, uh, the viewers across the country to know when, when the Laval team are back onto the field. So we currently have the Queens team on our right wearing the predominant gold strip with the blue shorts as they're getting ready and just some final minute warm up before their game. Conditions on the field are really good for rugby. It's been dry for the last few hours. We can see blue sky around, very little wind at field level. The field has held up remarkably well. There's been a lot of rugby played on this field over the last week or so, so tip of the hat to the uh, operations and maintenance staff at University of Victoria for making things so good. I'll uh, also give a shout out to uh, our producers and camera people. It's been some cold, wet, windy weather over the last few days. We've been having a blast here in the commentator's booth and we're really looking forward to uh, the final championship game here at the U Sports Championships. Um, plenty to see and take away from. Uh, really uh, hoping to hear these names called out when the national team uh, gets to play again in the future. So as we get ready for action, opening kickoff is coming up after the break. Live from Victoria, you're watching the 2022 U Sports Women's Rugby Championships on CBC. Let's 
This U Sports Championship on CBC is presented by Sport Canada, funding partners of U Sports. Ce reportage est une présentation de Sport Canada, partenaire financier de U Sport. This U Sports Championship on CBC is presented by Sport Canada, funding partners of U Sports. Ce reportage est une présentation de Sport Canada, partenaire financier de U Sport. Well, good afternoon and welcome. We're here ready for the final. We're here in beautiful Victoria. This is the final. Laval versus Queens. Rambunctious crowd in front of us. We're in for a spectacular game of rugby. Christopher, would you like to introduce, please, the referees? Happy to be here for the 2022 U Sports Canadian Women's Championships. Referee today, Shanda Asmus. And supporting Shanda as assistant referees, Cole Pedrick and Peter Pender. Queens have kicked it off. Magley Harvey with a deep kick into Laval territory. Straight to opposite player 
Frenchette, who clean catch, hands it to her fly half to kick. And we have will have the first line out. Yeah, that ball was in touch before the Queen's player. Or did the Queen's player st standing in touch as she talked? No. Didn't quite catch the replay on that. Must have because the... Yep. The flag is up. Arms indicating Laval yep. put in at the line out. Here we go. Short line out again. Laval spread all the way across the field, deep to the near side with a winger. They're going to look to move this ball wide. Back line out jump, cleanly taken. Beautiful throw, beautiful line out. I love the ritual as they go up for the line out. There's 12. Audrey Champagne moving There's the ball. There's an overlap the here. First break of the game. Straight to hands. Cross kick, unfortunate. And A. Gilbert, number 11, Laval's winger on the near side here. First touch of ball was great. But also great coverage from number 11, Carmen Isaac. So again, for those who are watching across the country, Laval are playing in the red strip, playing left to right. And we have Queens in the predominant yellow strip, playing right to left. Expect this to be a quick-paced game. Great conditions for rugby. The lights are on here at the stadium, but they're not really needed. Little bubble there at the front for Queens. Queens have the ball. Magley Harvey, and no, Shanda's seen a touch. Knock on from Queens and then from Laval. So she's indicating a scrum down. Scrum down, first put in for Laval. Their number nine, Corinne Frechette, will put the ball in from the far side of this scrum. Gonna be interesting here, the first scrum have an opportunity to see how both packs fare off against each other. Again, the ground is a little bit wet, but these players will be used to it. They played on this field on Friday night. Crowd are starting to get into it, cheering their, their team on. The valve is getting themselves ready. Frechette about to feed the ball in. Good, strong push by Queens, but held by Laval. Eight-man pick. They're coming blind through a Nice gap. pack inside. Nice pass. Good That's meterage made. Laval again. Quick. They're spinning it wide. They're not afraid here to pass the ball wide at the very opening of this game. Big passes. Break is available. There's... Uh, I think that's 13. Marie Laura Choquette. And, and the referee has indicated. I believe she's playing advantage. Queens are going to have yes. to get back in defense. They're freebie now for Laval. Forwards get into play. Here we come. Laval are not going to slow down. Backs again. again. Look at this. Not afraid to use their backs here. Laval. Okay, with center field. It's quick play. It's coming out wide. Cross kick. No. Wide pass. Right winger for Laval staying in, in, in field. And, and A. Gilbert. We're going to come back for the penalty. There's no advantage gained. Wow. Sh Shand is going to take it back to the middle of the pitch. Laval will have a choice. What a they, great first three minutes of this final. They could call for a scrum. They could attempt to go for posts. It was an offside call. The beautiful game is in action next weekend with the U Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by RBC from Thompson Rivers University in Kamloops, BC. Only on CBC Gem and CBC Sports.ca. Laval kicker just waiting for the kicking tee to come out on the field. Audrey Champagne. Obviously want to cool everybody's nerves. First time in the Queen's territory. With an opportunity to get three points here from the penalty kick. Just settle her team's nerves. And take her team into a quick lead. Great start though. Julia for the game. Fast paced. Yes, amazing start by Laval. They're executing simple catch pass, and I love that they're utilizing their backs. Wait for the flags, and there Beautiful they are. Kick. All great champagne with uh, success on the first attempt. Three points to Laval. Crowd are really getting into this game. Wonderful to see the uh, Laval team in the first three opportunities of having the ball, spreading it wide, using the backs, getting the backs in play. 
Again, it's a bit of a wet field, but we've got dry conditions. There's no rain, but here they are. The Laval have come to play, playing some really entertaining rugby in the first three and a half minutes. Magley Harvey with a drop kick. Good catch. Clean catch by Laval. Straight up into contact to deck. Three bodies over top, moving the ball out left. Again, running the ball. Quickly to the winger. It's cut inside. I believe that's Laura Gay, the winger down the far side. Deep into the backs. Flat running, hard running. That's Valois, I think, their second row coming in at pace. Big wide pass from the scrum half out. Strong Laval. tackle there by Maggie Banks, getting her first uh, contact in the game. We can expect to hear that name again a few times today. Fullback for Queens, Jarden Walker, clean catch. She's starting to run across the field and Ooh. well taken out by her, by a player there. Laval with a nice hit. Jaden Walker with a strong run. She's willing to run. There's Queens settling she, things down and yeah, just driving right. straight ahead. Magley Harvey, Laval they, up quick in defense. We're gonna That's see Maggie Banks again with a bollocking run. We're going to see the Queen, the Laval team consistently come up in a flat line. They're well drilled. They've, they've, been, they've been practicing this. Their defense is pretty impressive. So Queens are going to have to find a way to break through this Laval defense. And they're not doing that right now. They're going backwards. Magley Harvey there for the pass. Maggie Banks takes it. I believe that's Maggie. Into contact. No, I think that was one Jillian Lynott. Looks like Queens are wanting to spread it wide a little bit. Number 13 there for Queens, Madison Donnelly taking it in. Penalty however, called. However, yes. Her support player, no, yeah. she wasn't releasing the ball. That's the indication from uh, referee Asmus. That's a very kickable position. Again, both, yeah. she is indeed chosen, yeah. It was she, great go forward by number 13, Madison Donnelly, but of course she has to release the ball in contact. And it looks as though Audrey Champagne is going for... Another three points. Absolutely. Looking to uh, keep the score clock ticking over. Just asking for a kicking tee. I would say similar position to before, maybe a couple of meters back. She's lining it up. Of course, if this ball does hit off the post and come back into the field to play, it's live and action will continue. So you've got a couple of the Queens players in front of the posts. They're facing the post. Sarah Penman, number five, I can see is out there, and that's probably number four, Grace Anderson, also looking up at the pitch. Wow, Audrey Champagne, two for two. Great kick by Audrey. Taking the Laval team up with a six point lead, two successful penalties. I can see the Queen's supporters in front of us trying to rally their players back into the game. We've got eight and a half minutes gone in this first half. It's been some great entertaining rugby. Crowd has been building. I can see a Laval cheering section. A number of players from previous games are here. We're probably close to 400 people in the grandstands. Harvey with a deep kick. This time allowed to bounce. Pick up. And a... Booming clearance kick, but not Fielded finding touch. At center. There's Magley Harvey. Fake pass, cuts it straight up into the heart of the Laval defense. And a Gilbert, I see with the tackle. Queens looking to move the ball away from the breakdown, going backwards. Again, perfect opportunity here for the for the viewers at home to see the Laval red line of defense. Interesting to see that Laval has three people back, one just behind the backs, and two more further back. Covering kicking options if there's a little chip kick. Yeah. Number nine, Frechette will be there. And then they've got defenders further back. Penalty. Taken tap. quickly. Magley Harvey with a tap and go. Number seven there for Queens. Lizzie Gibson. Still on her feet. Now down. Forwards on a ruck over. Looking for some quick ball. Harvey passing it out. There's number four. Grace Anderson. Just a bit of hesitation before contact. Again, the Laval. Maggie Banks with the ball. Defense. Hard yeah. through a tackle. Queen's support there. Magley's moving it out wide again. Strong tackle on number 10 there, Madeleine Kushner. Lawrence, Lawrence Chabot with the tackle for Laval. Nicely done. Number five for Queen's getting Sarah stopped. Sarah Penham. Just getting stopped in her path. Sorry, Sarah Penman. Magley slows it down. 
Looking for her forward. She's found, uh, looks like number no. one, Gillian Lino. Perhaps that's Gillian Lynott. Not quite sure. We apologize <laughs> one way or another. We'll do our best. Queen's rambling forwards. They're 10 meters into the uh, Laval. Queen. It's an absolute wonderful rugby here we're seeing. Queen's driving, settling things down. Laval coming up in defense with a great shoulder tackle. Tackle behind the gain line. Textbook. Oh, Ooh. squeezing through a tackle. She maintains her feet. Is that outside center, Madison Donnelly on the far side? Penalty awarded. Sure. Here we go, first <laughs> of our day. The best of women's university soccer is on display next weekend with the University Sports Women's Soccer Championship presented by Ocean Group from Laval University in Quebec City only on cbcsports.ca and CBC Gem. Julie, I don't know if you caught a number on who that runner was on the far side for Queens. No, I'm okay. sorry, I didn't see the Harvey there with a good kick to touch. Again, their penalty straight into touch and therefore it's going to be their line out. Looks like it's on the Laval 10 wow. meter line. We're in the Laval half. So Queens, Queens are going to want to do something productive with the ball. It was a nice stable opportunity. Clean line out win at the front by Grace Anderson. Driving mall. Up comes the Laval defense line to the last foot. Little slow and stagnant. Referees indicating that's a first stop, first uh, stop from going forward. So Queens want to use it. They didn't use it in time. Didn't get it out of that rolling mall. It didn't come out quickly. Laval with the put in. You can see Laval high fiving each other. They're excited about this. They have another opportunity to attack here. The scrum is right in front of the Laval bench. You can see their support players in the background, the coaches, the trainers, and all the subs. Expect the coaches to be using those subs throughout the night. Tactical decision-making is going to be important for both of these teams if they look to secure the win today. The Val backs are just getting set up. You can see I think there's going to be a nice set-piece play for them. A couple of options on the table. Number eight can pick and go on the open side, or they can spin it out wide to the backs. Let's see what they do. Queen's defense ready for that. A fullback and a winger back deep. Four of their backs, five meters behind the scrum. Laval moves it away from the scrum. Bobbles oh. it forward. Queen's ball. Maggie Banks with it. Can they turn it over and go? Advantage being played. Magley Harvey moves it out to her left. This is coming near to the, this side of the grandstands. Lindsay Gibson there with a strong take. Mm. We'll go back for the knock on. That's unfortunate. That's a catchable ball for sure. But great pickup and great go forward by Lizzie Gibson. Who is the captain for the day? Scrum Queen's ball. Getting set. And held. Magley Harvey up to move the ball. Backline starts to move. They've got an inside runner support. That's the blindside winger, Carmen Izzet, coming across. Magley choosing to take it to the right hand side of the pitch. She's got more numbers. There's Butterworth taking it in. Coming blindside now to captain Lizzie Gibson. She maintains her feet. Nice offload to number Maggie 12. Maggie Banks with a stiff arm. Maggie. She's through inside the 22 for Laval. Hooker. Riley Rakowski. Laval was quick to get back on side. Their defensive red wall is very strong and very disciplined. Coming up hard. Have the Queens escaped There's it? There's a full back for Queens through, breaking it through. And look how quickly Laval reorganizes. And Laval have now three players back for a for a chip kick. Yeah, it's almost as though their number nine is playing a sweeper position. Similar Maggie to Banks something with another you would see in run. sevens. Sorry, Julia. That's okay. Great intensity here from Queens. That's uh, Myra Brubaker. Seven it in. Seven or eight phases. Ooh. Hard tackle Great on pressure Magley. On number nine. Play on, says the referee. Queens is scampering around for defense. There's some pace Bit of a here. gap coming up wide. Standoff, Madeline Kushner. Kushner. Take, yeah, needs some help from the forwards. She gets it. Support rock. Harvey clean with the Borowski ball away. again. 
Oh, but take it's it away. Stolen by Laval. By number one, I believe Gabrielle. And there's the penalty. That was Maggie or Lizzie Gibson over top and off her feet. Stoppage in play. Laval's going to get to clear. As you see in the replay, really great steal by Gabrielle Picure. Laval has that opportunity. Number 12 is going for a line out, but unfortunately it lands in Carmen Isaac's hands, and Queens has the opportunity to attack. Be aware of the risks and keep going. The things that you love. Talk to your healthcare provider about meningitis B and learn more at menbeaware.ca. Returning to action on the field, there's Maggie Harvey with a big wide pass to Maggie Banks. Ooh, Hard Maggie running for Maggie. Nice offload. offload. That's Lizzie Gibson inside seven. Maggie Banks mm -hmm. offloading to a captain. Lizzie Gibson also able. Great tackle by Frechette, the scrum half for Laval yeah. coming yeah. up. They've lost, Queens lost the ball, and then a quick kick from Frechette. Referee indicates a knock-on from Queens. Messi in contact there, you can see on the replay, just a knock-on by Queens. Laval puts a body on it to keep possession, and number nine kicks the ball out. We have a scrum not far from our commentary booth on this side of the field. It's gonna be a Laval ball, Rouge et or. Wise decision by number nine to kick that ball out. Just take the scrum, collect yourself. Corinne Frechette about to feed it in for her pack. Through 17 minutes of play in this first half, frantic action. Laval back line, could see the ball either moving out wide or a kick out wide. Stand. Really neat there, don't know if the, play, if the viewers saw that, the, the scrum half for Laval just had a look over her left shoulder to have a look at where the, the Queen's defense was. Great pass from Frechette, they're moving it wide. There's a gap. She's through. Great work. She got some pace. That's number Great 11. Tackle. And Ace Gilbert. Harvey Ins there with a try saving tackle. Inside the 22. Harvey's got her hands up. Penalty awarded. To the ref saying, what's going on here? Laval not releasing the ball on the deck. Just have a look at the replay. Yeah, not releasing the ball in contact. Her knees were on oh, the deck. Just too late trying to release that ball in contact. Harvey got her hands up saying, ref, what's going on here? That's a penalty. Probably a smart defensive yeah. play by the fullback for Queens to wrap her ball and all. Absolutely. Great chase by Harvey. And, of course, Jaden Walker. So we're going to have a Queens line out. Browski is going to throw it in. Let's see if it's straight. Ruakoski. Let's go with Ruakoski. Ruakoski. Bit messy in the line out, but Queens managed to retain possession. Forwards for the Queens, they're gonna run it through. Maybe pass the gain line, good for them. Looks like it's coming wide. Oh, and a stutter pass and sliding through a gap. Pace of this game is phenomenal. Yeah, Magley Harvey getting wrapped up and swarmed in defense. Laval coming through yeah. hard. Counter ruck, no, not successful. The Gales have recovered. Back into contact they go. Support Ruck driving over. Magley Harvey with the pass away. Quick Lizzie baller. Gibson nice offloading offload quickly. Nice offload by Lizzie. Yep. Oh, and there's the obstruction call. You can see Laval appealing for it. The first pass out back, and the Queens ran behind their own player. Let's see if we get that on the replay. Great skill by Lizzie Gibson to get that off, but unfortunately 13, almost set a pick similar to something you'd see in basketball. Madison Donnelly didn't mean to do it intentionally, but penalty awarded regardless, well, often a feature in rugby. Neat choice here, Laval have chosen not to go for the three-point attempt, but they want to push the ball down, they'll have a set piece play, they're going to have a line out, looks like to be in about 18, 15, 18 meters from the, the Queens try line. The road to the Canada Life Vanier Cup continues on Saturday, November 19th as the AUS Looney Bowl champions host the winners of Canada West Hardy Cup in 2022 UTEC Bowl. Catch all the action on CBC Jam and cbcsports.ca beginning at 12 p.m. Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. The road to the Canada Life Vanier Cup only on CBC. Back to action. Clean take there by Laval. They've got the pressure, they're pushing it forward, it's a rolling more, they're on their feet. Oh, the ball's ball gone down. Bobbled forward. Yes, unlucky. It's 
really unfortunate for Laval. Off the line out, they gained five, ten yards, but lost the ball. Head coach Dan Valley won't be happy with that. His Laval team has been playing very well today. Ooh. Scrum so, defensive Sorry about scrum. that. Dan Valley, of course, coaches Queens. I got that entirely backwards. Let me move my pieces of paper around Don't here. worry, Chris. We've had a great day here today. We were thoroughly enjoying getting caught up with all the enthusiasm of this game as well. Rouge, this is a great start. Rouge Or with a put in. Yeah. Shanda giving the cadence no, no. call. Queens Auto with the put in. Megalie Harvey. It's all good. We're here. We're here to help. Wow. Oh. We're all caught up with enthusiasm. This is great. There's a penalty. Oh, there's a little bit of, uh, how do we say that, Chris? Argy bargy Maybe a couple of the emotion just boiling over there a little bit between the two sets of teams. but We referee, saw the same thing Friday night. They got emotional and yeah, it got feisty. Referee, I mean, everything's on the line. This is the championships. Yep. The uh, the winners take all here. So, Laval opting for another another uh, line kick. And therefore, because it's a penalty, they're going to have the, the line out. You can just see the Laval pack getting themselves organized. They're obviously calling the call, hit the play. Smart choice some, by Laval taking some, the line out. Somebody's going to move towards the hooker, very the difficult. Paige Tremblay, and give her the call signal. Very difficult to defend against the driving mall this close. The national women's team has proved that at the World Cup. And let's see if Laval chooses that same option here. Six people in the line. Yeah, Clean Laval. take. There's the drive. There goes number one. Already number one pushed through. Already pushed the ball off to another player. PK there on the feet. Laval driving there across the line. Shanda, can she see anything? Great work by Laval. The referee, see what the referee has to say. Time off. She's going to tell everybody to back off. She's going to chat with the assistant referee who's moved infield. Here she comes across to have a chat. Laval stepping back. Let's have a look at the replay, Julia. Yeah, just a successful maul by Laval. But try is not awarded. It is held up by Queens. So Queens will get to drop kick this ball from their try line. Again, a new rule, a new law this year. When that ball is held up, you don't get a five meter scrum put in. You actually have to retreat and be ready to receive this drop kick. So Magley Harvey is going to punt it as far as she can and gets good distance on that. That's gone 35 meters. Great take there by the scrum half, her opposite player. Freshette for Laval. Twice we've seen it now, strong and solid under that high ball. Laval hitting that ball at pace. Wow. Getting three or four meters through. Looking to recycle it quickly. They do. Back to one of their forwards. Number six, and frederic Simard. Look at the speed of this play. Phenomenal. Again, just wanted to make sure they recycle it quickly. They do. Back to their forwards. I believe that was number eight, their captain. There's Nari some backs Pierre out Fato. here. Laval have some backs out. Penalty right. awarded. Not rolling away from the tackle. Laval with the penalty. Another penalty, so close to their try line. Posts. The captain stepped in and is calling for posts. Looks as though number eight is not rolling away, not getting out of the way in that contact. Laval for sure. They obviously realize this, this can be a very close game. They want to walk away with some points from this pressure. Currently, the, the score is 6-0. to zero. They want to extend it 9-0. to zero. CBC TV is your home for the 2022 Canada Life Vanier Cup from London, Ontario. Catch the best in university football action Saturday, November 26th at 1 p.m. Eastern on CBC TV and CBC Gem and CBC Sports.ca. Unsuccessful kick by Champagne. Audrey Champagne taking her team back. Queens will get to uh, drop kick from their 22. Laval have to bring a couple of players up here just to make sure that Queens don't just dri dribble it over the line. Magley only has to kick it uh, just across the white line. That's right. It doesn't need to go 10, so there's an opportunity for a cheeky kick here. That's why we want Laval to come up and block the kick. 
There's some pace here from the Laval player. Hitting the line at speed, that's a great run. No fear going into that contact. It was Maggie Banks trying to pinch the ball. She wasn't able to. Laval forwards on the near side of the field. Caro taking it in. Pot of forwards getting ready to take the ball in. There's the three forwards. Ball Frechette. carrier and two support runners. Frechette again looking for her backs now. Low Late. delivery. Good bounce. They're releasing him. Wide speed out left. One on one. Magley Harvey oh, knocked forward by Laval right at the end. Really unfortunate for Laval to knock it on there. They had really great phase play with a simple catch pass. You can get a feel here for both sets of forwards as a couple just uh, just jogging over to the scrum. It's been an intense 25 minutes here. The scrum's right in front of the Queen's bench. You can see all those substitute players eager to get into the play. Coaches and everybody lined up. Eager to get into the play, but also cheering on their team as they go down for a scrum. Laval have two players back, the left wing and the full back. Anticipating maybe a kick. The, the scrum is applying some pressure, but easily won by Queens. Queens are running it. Amazing play to Isaac. Number 11 joined the back line rather than staying on the wing. Jaden Walker with the ball. She cuts inside, running hard. Just falling down, but maintained a support feet. runners. Magley Harvey moves it back to the right. That's number four, Grace, Grace Anderson. Anderson. Magley again, quick to the ball, hits it out the back. Jaden steps inside. Is that number eight out wide? Number six. Siobhan Sheeran. Really great go forward there. They're deep into the uh, Laval half of the pitch. But of course Laval has a really strong defensive wall again. Ooh, counter Look rock at coming that. through. Yeah. And the penalty. Nicely done by Laval. We'll look for the replay on that. We saw this on Friday as well. Laval is aggressive. Great just work by Laval. Of course, Queens just couldn't surrender the ball. And not a very strong ruck by Queens. Andrian Valois, number four, with a great drive at that ruck. Great drive. She saw an opportunity and she took it. 27 minutes in. Laval still leading six points to zero over Queens. We have a Laval Rouge et Or line out. Short line out. Chandra just telling them to make sure they're in. Asking for numbers to be matched, allowing the Queen's Gales players to retreat that 10 meters as they set their defensive line. Good Clean line out, nice and straight. Clean line out win, deep into the backs. Lots of pace. There's Rouge Gavin. Fantastic. Number seven, Leah Oulette. Frechette moves it back to the left. Loop pass. She's got speed. Flat pass over oh, nice wide. Nicely done. I think that last pass was forward. We're going to come back for that. It's really unfortunate. That was a really great line out for Laval and to insert their flankers in the back line and use them as an attacking opportunity. But unfortunately, just a forward pass. Yeah, it was the very last pass out wide. That one right there. Not quite making touch. Counter-attack opportunities for Laval as they come this way. Tackled hard Laval there. Laval has numbers. By Mad Kushner. We know they can execute simple oh. catch and pass. Beautiful Great pass. hands. Chip through. Giving up possession. I'm Is not that sure that's what number 13, Maria Laura, wanted. Yeah, Choquette. Maybe could have kept that ball in hand and looked to cut back inside. Really entertaining rugby here from Laval. They're not afraid to spin it wide. They're doing some miss passes. They're doing some loops. This is great to see. Queens line out throw. Riley Ruakoski throwing the ball in. Gone to the back of the line out. Oh. Tapped it back. There's pressure. Magley Harvey down on the ball. And a knock on. Magley bobbled it. Laval's going to get the put in. I think they were hoping to have advantage played. This is going to be a nice set piece play for them on the field. Keith, I recall your number eight days. This would be a beautiful option for you to pick and go right from the number eight position at the back of this scrum. I'm just looking at the number eight right now for Laval. Their captain, uh, Marie-Pierre Fateau, 
She had a look to her backs, and she also had a look to that right wing. So she's uh, she's got some thoughts about which way it's going to go here. Well, whatever she decides to do with it, she better know that uh, her teammates know what's going on. She's in the traditional number eight slot. My guess will be they'll be it's back. Going score. down the backs. There it is. And a chip down to the far wing. There's a gap there. What's the bounce? Luck. There's the lucky Beautiful bounce. Beautiful bounce. Cut back inside. Find some support players. Looking for the forward to come over. Oh, Queen's on the wrong side of that tackle. There's the advantage. Yeah. Shanda's got her arm out. Penalty awarded. Tap and go for Laval. They're taking it quick, but no. no. Shanda wasn't happy with how that ball was tap and go. She needs to see it happen in front of her, not behind her. That may have been a knock-on on the tap and go. I think it was. Let's just see what happened. Oh, possibly a... Yeah, there's the knock-on. There's the knock-on. Just see that right at the end of that replay, Shanda indicated that it was a knock-on. We so have our first uh, substitution of the day, Amelia Stapley, number 14, the right wing for Queen, just coming off and... Didn't quite get a number, but uh, being changed out for one of her teammates right now. And as you see, number 21 on Queens is going to the scrum half position while Mega Lee is making her way to the backs. Madison Thompson. So that would. So Magley Harvey appears to be at an outside center position, a wing, or wing, position. wing position. Okay. Maggie Banks with a strong run, cutting back in. Unfortunately, giving away the penalty. This is kickable by Laval. Gosh, I'm having deja vu. Another penalty kick for Champagne. Of course, Queens does not want to have any more penalties, but they're going to really need to tighten it up if they're in their red zone, knowing very well that Audrey Champagne has the opportunity to put another three points on the board. Laval taking every opportunity to score points, not really looking to uh, mm -hmm. show dominance at the scrum. But if you keep ticking over, this would make it 9 nothing. Those are uh, critical three points. Loud roar from the crowd, Laval spectators and fans really happy with that. Clearly some families have traveled out. Nine nothing for Laval. Champagne now three for four. That was a great kick to slot it over. 33 minutes played in the first half. And not a it? single try has been scored. That one was held up, but uh, Laval has managed to put three con or three penalty kicks for nine points. Nine zero for Laval. 33 minutes. Magley Harvey taking her time jogging back to center. She's going to uh, maintain her drop kick responsibilities here. Looks As to be going deep right. There it is, deep right. That's Frechette with a catch. Yet again. Champagne with a clearance kick. Yeah, well drilled. Textbook rugby from Laval. Queens Very similar to the last kickoff we saw. Queens will have the line out. They've got a few minutes left here. They're going to look to want to put something together. They've had several passage of passages of play that just haven't resulted in points. Yeah, they really want to get a try here in the next six minutes going into halftime break. Clean line out take at the front. They've set up the driving mall. It's not going anywhere. They want to recycle it out pretty quickly here. Shanda just scooting around to this side. She's seen the ball go out at the back. She's going to rely on assistance assistance from the assistant referee. Just waiting for the call. It's going to be a line out. Laval, assistant referee, explaining to the players what happened. Asmus had come to the near side of the, uh, the breakdown and wasn't in line of sight. Here's Laval's line out throw. Again, only a few people in the line out as some forwards have joined the back line. Great nice strategy. 
Good tap. Clean win for Laval. Trail runner, hard at pace. pace. And quick recycle, lovely pass. Out the back door, hesitation run. Now to take it into contact, that's 14, Laura Gay. Here's Frechette again with a quick snappy pass out. The forward's doing well to move the ball through the back line. Ruck support is there, Frechette moving in again, deep to the left. And the pass to the winger goes to ground and then out of bounds. That should result in a lineout for Queens. Laval having no rewards for their work in the past minute of play. Frustrating. Queens forwards will be happy with this. Step up. They should be able to win this lineout. They've had success today. Looks like it's a full lineout by Queens. Gales cleanly off the top. They actually had people leaving the lineout possibly a bit early. There's Queens over top of the ruck. Awkward pass, scooped up in the backs, going to deck, two over top. Not Maddie going. Thompson moving it out to the right. Just not going to hand. Not Gives. going to hand, maybe a miscommunication on who wants this ball. It's a better pass. Oh. Strong running on the far side. Strong. And pushed the Flag has gone up. Assistant referee indicating ball in touch. And we've got uh, some bodies getting up slow, which is totally understandable on this day. 36 minutes in. Really Laval. great defending by number six, but ultimately out of bounds. Momentary break in action. Thanks again to uh, all the U Sports crew helping make this uh, happen today and to the staff at UVic and the Athletics and Recreation Department. All the support we've had by uh, volunteers and paid staff, both at Wallace Field and here at uh, Centennial Stadium. Long deep, line out. Deep throw from Laval. They think their jumper caught the ball and went to ground. They've rucked over top. It's available for Frechette. Cross field kick. We have the right winger chasing it. That's Ooh, Jaden, the yep. fullback, with a great catch. Stays on her feet. Supports there. Well done by Queens Gales. Taken down by Anae Gilbert. Madison with the quick, fast, hard out pass to Sarah, Sarah Penman. There's Madison again with a long, hard, low pass from the back of the PK, holding up and ripping and it's it. Stolen by number six on Laval. And oh. bobbled forward and then played. Is that going to be a penalty? No, they've maintained possession. Oh. Asma saying the no. We'll come back to that. So yep. knocked forward by Laval. I'm thinking there was a call in from an assistant referee there. Just wait for a replay. Here we go. So it went back and it was bobbled on the floor is my take on that. And there's Asmus with the call. Yeah, it looked as though the first bobble went backwards, but on the ground as number two jumped on the ball. It may have gone forward. Interesting opportunities for Queens. They could attack either side of the play, either side of the pitch. The Laval... Fullback has come to the near side, so there's a little bit more open space down the far side. Referee wanted to clarify the her expectations going into this scrum. Again, safety. Full front rows maintaining their, their footing is, is paramount right now. Queens have both uh, Maddie Banks and Magley Harvey on this near side in their back line. Thompson with the ball, about to put it in for Queens. Watch her body language. That will tip which way she's going to pass it when she gets to the back of the scrum. Laval only have the full back. Back for the kick. Number eight's broken off with the ball. Eight, nine pick. To deck. Couple ruckers there to make it happen. Back to the mid, to the center of the field. Forwards clearing through a ruck. Now Laval have. There's Maddie Banks with the ball. Maggie Banks. Hard running. Two tacklers on her. Taken down by... There's the penalty. Oh. Laval not rolling away from the breakdown. Quickly Gibson taken. wants to go quick. Needs to, not, needs to maintain, a, get the support there. Laval's going to have to release her. Her knees were on the ground. A kick here will find space. And an awkward pass backwards by the Gales. Magley Harvey with the ball. Ducks through a tackle. Stutter step. Goes into contact. High tackle. 
Natalie Harvey will have him go, but she's got no, she don't run away from support. Ooh. Great tackle from Laval. Queen scrambling to the deck. Madison with a pass out right. Good hands. Queens Gales playing skilled rugby here. Knocked Just forward by Laval. Looks diving like on the ball, putting they, numbers in. They've, they've got won it back. It, won it cleanly. It's a great There's numbers by on Laval white here. There's numbers with on an white. Opportunity. The clock is at full four. So we're playing extra time right now. Referee's giving a penalty to Laval. They want to take it quick. No, they don't. Penal yes, penalty to Laval. They're having a look at posts. I suspect that's a little too far out. We're going to see a kick for touch, I expect, here, and then a line out. That's what we're seeing. Looking to gain some territory. Again, the, the first half cannot end on a penalty. Laval have that penalty. They're going to have a line out from here and have one opportunity, even though we're in extra time, to try and get a score here to end the first half. Again, currently Laval leading 9-0 to zero in the U Sports Championship Final. Laval slow to come up to their line, just pace everything, full line out, maybe one down. Taking quickly at the front. They've formed them all, and there's the uh, not straight call from Shanda, so the half is over. And that's the end of the first half. Coming up in the halftime show, we'll meet some U Sports athletes who left the mark in the world this fall, as well as unveiling one of the U Sports Rugby Award winners. The halftime score is Laval 9, Queens 0, and you're watching U Sports Women's Rugby Championship only on CBC. Direct maintenant sur TVA. U Sports is a proud member of FISU, the International University Sport Federation, and this past September, Team Canada participated at the FISU World University Championships in Canoe Sprint. We are now pleased to introduce you to a pair of our athletes. For paddling, I gotta go with Adam, like Adam Van K. Just, you know, just great athlete. And of course, also from like home, like from like greatest Canadian kayaker of all time. Paddlers, you got Mark Oldershaw in canoeing. He's also from Burlow Club. You have Canada in a couple of like years before. 
I was from Quebec also, but just that's just to name a few. If you paddle and don't admire them, then like there's I you know. Are you really a paddler? I have to say Laurel is facing on that point. Um, she's also a sprint canoeist and she went to the Olympics last year. I guess sort of like being one of the younger athletes at like such high intensity training camps, uh, like it can be very stressful, but she was always like so nice to us and very helpful anytime we needed anything. Probably just good old like carbo load pasta. Just love a big plate of pasta like any anything that that's like close i love when i'm at home i'll like do just like tuna pasta mixture that i would not recommend to any young athletes up and coming but sometimes you just got to do what it works for you and i don't know i did that one year it worked and now i just do it all the time but i guess maybe like i wear the same sports bra for every like important race probably <laughs> probably naruto like the anime that's like that that I've been into that for a lot of years. Like I would always like, go rewatch it. I don't know how to explain this, but like the Italian like hand gesture, like this one. <laughs> yeah, I just find it like suits all conversations so well. <laughs> Canada won five medals at the World Championships, including three silvers by U Ottawa's Evie McDonald, who you just met a few moments ago. U Sports' next international competition is in January during the 2023 World Winter University Games in Lake Placid, New York. And now this message from Lake Placid 2023. where exceptional student athletes are born, where records are broken, where great plays are made, where school colors ignite passion, where champions prevail, where tradition is celebrated, Ontario University Athletics. Direct, une offre sportive imbattable. Listen! Incroyable ce qu'on vient de voir. Quel échange en fond de terrain! De la fin devant le tir de but! Couché! L'avantage du Mirix Rap! Quel win Oh! Une offre sportive imbattable. Tous nos sports au bout de vos doigts. Abonnez-vous à TVA Sport Direct maintenant sur TVA. This season, catch the best in Atlantic University sport excitement at home or on the go with AUS TV. Soccer, rugby, football, volleyball, hockey, basketball, and more. Tune in at AUSTV.ca. All your favorite university teams showcasing their talents in one place. AUS TV, powered by Bell Alliant. They bring it to the court. They bring it to the field. They bring it to the ice. And now they bring it to you. Presented by Subway, the official fuel of Atlantic University sport. Hey, you sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visitez le shop.usports.ca pour en profiter de la promotion de la semaine de la collection Nike Team.
This U Sports Championship on CBC is presented by Sport Canada, funding partners of U Sports. Ce reportage est une présentation de Sport Canada, partenaire financier de U Sport. And we're back. So, hey, you sports fans, you too can celebrate today's gold medal victory by either Laval or Queens with your very own commemorative apparel from T. Litson Sports. Starting tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, please visit shopusports.ca to purchase your piece of history. But hurry, supplies will go fast on this limited time offer. That, again, is the U Sports Championship Collection on sale tomorrow at shop.us usports.ca and we're about to kick off the second half in this championship game usports 2022 women's rugby championships here at the University of Victoria Julia just before we get started any uh, any thoughts on the second half uh, just that I would love to see a try by either team here what a gold medal match if it comes down to just penalty points Fantastic defensive display by both teams today. So if you've just joined us, we have Laval wearing the red, playing from right to left, and we have Queens defending on the left, playing left to right. Laval are currently leading nine points to zero. Here's the kickoff, taken well by 13 for Queens. That's Madison Donnelly. Looks like that's Madeline May taking it in. I don't know if she's a reserve, but uh, number 17 on the field now for Queens. The ball is in Maggie Banks' hands. Great offload. Looking for some support. Queens have brought it up to the halfway line. There's the penalty. Laval offside. Too aggressive in defense. Queens will slow the pace down. See Magley Harvey running over to take the kick. We'll try to do our best to update you about uh, replacements. As Keith mentioned, 21. Madison Thompson's already been on the field, but we'll look for some other uh, replacement players. So it's going to be Queen's line out just uh, outside of the Laval 22. Good set piece play, good set piece location. Queen's will want to do something here at the very start of the second half just to get themselves back into this game. Full line out by Queens. It looks like it's bobbled at the front. Laval wins. Queens counter rucks. Queens with the ball. Straight running by the forwards. Look for Maggie Banks to hit this out wide. Sliding through a gap with a straight arm. Ran through two bodies. Nice offload. To deck. Queens players there driving in support. Strong defense again by Laval Madeline now. Kushner playing at nine for a bit there. There's the big wide pass to Kushner running sideways. She turns it up straight. Great offwards. pass. Down the far um, sideline. That's 13 in the corner for a try. Madison Donnelly. Great work, Madison. I got to see the try. You wanted that try, Julia? You have a try. All right. Less Queens. than two minutes into the second half. So Queens bring up five points. The score now, Laval nine, Queens five. We've got a game on our hands again. Fantastic restart to the second half. Really great go forward by number 10 on Queens. That's, Laura, uh, that's Madeline Kushner. Hitting Shabon Sheeran with the uh, offload number six, who then passes to 13, Madison Donnelly, who dots it down in the corner. It's a great team try. Here's our men's soccer promo. The beautiful game is in an action next weekend with U Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by RBC from Thompson Rivers University in Kamloops, BC. Only on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. You got your try, Julia. Hopefully there's more to come. Well, and hopefully that's uh, an indication of the momentum swing. Laval will want to regroup, settle things down, get back to what they do well. Queens will look to build on that and will want to immediately attack again. See that strong running from Maddie Banks. That convert kick looks very close. Flags remain down, so it's incomplete for the convert. Laval leading 9-5. I'm curious to hear about the uh, halftime pep talk at the Queen's change room to get them fired up. 
such a great start to the second half by Queens. Crowd starting to get in to help their Queens players continue their momentum in the start of the second half. This season, Queens were able to outscore their opponents 488 to 21. Clearly they're adept at scoring tries, but Laval has a solid defense. So let's see how we go. Nice take by Queens. Straight running by uh, Madeline Kushner to set the rock. Pot of three. And again, Kushner with a quick offload. Magley, Magley Harvey down this near side, chip and chase. Forcing the fullback back in field. Hadif Samson there. Awkward bounce, and that's 21. Madison Thompson up to make the tackle. Laval with possession. Ball squirts out the back. Quick pass from Frechette. Laval into contact. Frechette out to a pot of forwards. Laval wins that ruck. Now they've got the back spread out to the right. Wide flat pass, Maggie Banks shot the gap and missed. Two on one. Chip and chase, it's gonna run into touch. Just in front of the fullback for Queens covering. Laval gives away possession, but their forwards are running forwards, downhill as it were. So we have a line out for Queens in between the Queens 22 and their 10 meter line. Again, possession right now. Having the opportunity to stay with Queens. Let's see if they can win their line out and make some headway with this momentum that they've started the second half. Quick chat between Jillian and Riley at the line out, talking about what they're going to do here. Quick win at the front. There's the penalty. Queen's jumper was pulled down by Laval. Yeah, that was Grace Anderson pulled down. She's a little awkward with the shoulder. When you're in the air, you can't play the other body. So Laval can play for the ball, but they can't play the body. That's the penalty. Magley Harvey looking to uh, put some distance under that ball, and she's done so. Lineout will be just past center field. Again, the lineout is another opportunity to just gain yard yardage so quickly. Avoid contact, kick it out. They've gained about 15, 20 yards. Queen's opting for the full line out here. All seven players in, plus the hooker. Riley Rowowski about to throw it in. Looks straight. Again, it's a front jump by Grace Anderson. And However, ref referees indicated free kick to Laval. Let's see if the replay indicates what happened there. I, perhaps not retreating out of the line out. That's it. I think the player, the Queens players didn't make sure they were back 10. So it's an indirect penalty, which means free kick. Laval are going to tap and go. Hit some forwards and smash it up. Made Get your eight. backs organized. Made eight meters. Here we go. Awkward ball. Skips into the hands. There's the flat wide pass out here to the winger. That's on the 14. Laura Gay cuts back inside. Frechette scoops up the ball. Nice long pass by Frechette. Out the back door to seven at pace. Really great connection with the number seven there. Leo Willette inside the 22. They've got, Laval have got players there. They've got momentum, they've got space, they've got numbers. Push it out right. That's the winger. Pass being... back inside again. We've got some support play there from the forwards. That's, I think, the tight head prop. And Sophie Caro. Forwards bashing it up. Pace is slowed down. Laval's going to look to inch their way forward now. They're five meters from the line. Here we go. They're three meters from the line. The forwards are getting involved. Is Laval going to keep it in the forwards or are they going to give the backs a run? Oh, this is a forwards game, Keith. Here we go. You're in this close. Two meters from the line. Hard, Hard again. Tackle from Queens. Queens maintaining the discipline. Bodies on the line. One meter from the line. Referee has her hand out for an offside for against Queens. So there's a freebie now for Laval. They should spin it. Quick ball. They Actually have knocked forward by Queens. They there's have the, the numbers here. Forward. They have the numbers and try. Yes. Another try in the second half. That is Laura Gay, I believe, the left winger wearing number 14 for Queens. Let's see if we can catch that on the replay, Keith. I think it was number 15, actually, Jaden Walker. We'll just watch the replays again here. 
jubilant fans in the stands. Laval, Rouge Or. Here's the replay. Scrambled ball. 15 picks it up. Alexina Tardif Sampson in for the try. She had winger Laura Gay on the outside. Didn't need the support. The best of women's university soccer is on display next weekend with the U Sports Women's Soccer Championship. Presented by Ocean Group from Laval University in Quebec City. Only on cbcsports.ca and CBC Gem. Laura Gay looking for the convert. Sorry. Audrey Champagne. Great comeback by Laval on that one. She's Aud pushed it wide. Yeah, she's pushed out wide. Yeah. You know, we're 49 minutes into the game. Laval leading uh, Queens by 14 points to five. What a terrific final we're having here. I know our Canada national women's were playing a couple of nights ago, uh, obviously in the semi-final, losing to England. However, I do sincerely hope that the, uh, the coaches that we have down there will have an opportunity to watch this game, either on the replay or even watching it live, because we have some wonderful talent on the field here that I know will be representing Canada in years to come. Queens will want to go down to the uh, Laval end of the game and play uh, Laval end of the pitch and play this game down there. Looks like that was taken by number five, Annabelle Parent for Laval. Smart move by Frechette running into yeah. the trailing yeah. Queens Gales player who wasn't in an onside position, almost forcing the hand of the referee to call the penalty. Just watch the replay here. Frechette steps in, sees that player not, number eight, not moving. Emily Butterworth runs into her. Very happy with that. Kick for the lineout, Laval lineout just inside the center line. We can have a line out here directly in line with our presentation booth. That's uh, the hooker, Rosalie LePage Tremblay for Laval. Well just said, Keith. Well getting said. the uh, call from her colleague, number 17, Cecile Leclerc. She's obviously come on. Not Didn't quite look straight. straight. Yeah. No. Ah. It's a Always lost opportunity for Laval unforced, there. Unforced error. Unforced that, error. That's a frustration that. Uh, the forwards have to quickly get over. Laval now has the opportunity to dominate at the scrum. Queens will want to uh, firm things up. I see Madeline Kushner just having a chat with the back. So there's a back play on here. Notice the height difference in the two front rows. Queens probably four or five inches higher across the, the front row. Laval's going to uh, easily get down low. Queens going to have to work hard that front row. And you can see Megaly Harvey wearing number nine, sprinted to the other side of the field. Potentially, she's part of this next attack. Queens have it. Hard, fast running. Through the center, they made it over the gain line. Maggie Banks securing that ruck ball. Weren't able to get no. quick. Great work by Laval. They're celebrating, they're clapping, they're high-fiving each other. Just see on the replay that they took the ball into contact, 13 on the ground. Laval player on her feet, attempting to rip the ball. It's not there for her. Easy call for Asmus. I think that was 12. So Audrey Laval Champagne. have opted for the scrum. Center field, wonderful attacking opportunity from this set piece play for Laval. For Shet to put the ball in. Options all over the place. We can Look. see an eight pickup. We could see a run right, a run left. Op as you said, Chris, options all over the place here. It's going to be an eight pick. Eight, nine. There's nine. Looking to feed out wide through the gap. Oh, beautiful oh. pass. For Shet with a technical pass. It was perfect. Hitting it at pace. Chip and chase. That's not going to be a late tackle call. Queens with the pickup. Great and pressure by Laval. So we're into the uh, Queens 22. Laval again got their back line, their defense line sorted. Queens hitting it up with a pot of three forwards. Ruck formed. Oh, bubble ball here. Queen, sorry, Laval quickly on it. Passed to no one from the Queen scrum half. They've retained possession. Laval with crunching tackles, driving the Queens players backwards. Madeline May there, I believe. Once more, and the clearance kick from the second rower. Not straight out. Bounces 
Directly into Great the hands bounce. of Queens. That's Siobhan Sheeran, the number six. Queens pouring in to secure the ruck ball. Laval struggling to get back on side. Madison with the pass out the back door. And Kushner bobbles it out of her hands. Unlucky referee, for Madeline. Referee has her right arm out, signaling advantage. Laval's going to play on. That's yes. a hezzy pass from Great. four. Four. There's the advantage. Then knocked on by Laval. So advantage had been gained. Tactical advantage gained. So let's just watch the replay here. Four shoots the gap. Beautiful pass. And then knocked. That looked as though it was off of Queen's and then, arm. And then knocked forward off Laval. Then I think. into Laval, knocked forward. Quick promo piece, Keith. Be aware of the risks and keep doing the things that you love. Talk to your healthcare provider about meningitis B and learn more at menbeaware.ca. Thank you, Chris. Great crowd support from your U Sports fans here in the stands at Centennial Stadium at the University of Victoria. Queens with a put in, solid platform. Moves the ball into the back line. They want to run. Kushner to Maggie Banks. Plowing through a couple of bodies. Never easy to take Maggie down in a tackle. Still keep coming Madison on the side. Jade. Jaden Walker. Walker the fullback. Madison Thompson again passing it into her back line. Laval right there for the tackles. That was Riley Rabowski again. Like wonderful, aggressive play in their defense. Maggie Bantz taken down behind the gain line. Queen just looking for a little way to get out of here. They're going backwards. I think they're trying to play yeah, physical against Laval. There's and, uh, the penalty for Queens yeah. entering the breakdown at the wrong angle. Queens here need to probably change it up a little bit. They're trying to play physical against this Laval forwards. Just watch the replay here. Yeah, that's Later. quite obviously in from the side by Queens number didn't get the number there number seven maybe no no I don't think it was Lizzie Gibson I think it uh, might have been Sarah Penman one of the uh, second rowers so we're 55 minutes into the game there's obviously 25 to go Laval are up by 14 to 5 and no surprise here we have Audrey Champagne with another opportunity to add three points to the scoreboard Champagne. Yeah, with it Another through. great kick by Audrey Champagne. You give her this opportunity, she will take it. That's but 12 points by Champagne. Laval showing their experience. Just from penalties. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, yeah Laval, Laval has shown their experience here. They're up by 12 points now with 24 minutes to go. So they're forcing Queens to actually win this game by scoring true two sorry, converted tries. Queens are going to have to start throwing the ball around now. Magli Harvey with the deep kickoff down the middle of the field. Again, another great catch by the Laval player. Running hard through gaps and tackles. Her teammates are there to support her. Clean ruck ball for Frechette. Bringing it down the near side. That's Champagne taking the ball into contact. Cleanly won. Frechette steps back. Hits a trailing forward. Great tackle from Queens. Frechette passing out. Inside run from a uh, forward support player. Queens with some good tackling. Laval going backwards right now. Let's come it down the other way. Champagne out to the winger. Good strong run there by Laval winger. Madison Donnelly with a nice tackle. Sorry, Madison Thompson with the tackle. I think that was seven. Leah Ouellette for Laval with a nice run. There's Sheeran trying to make a strong tackle here. She did. Queens are not going to give this one up easily. Box kick through. Well taken by Jaden Walker, the fullback for Queens. Sidesteps two tacklers, shoots a gap. Taken down. Great footwork by Jaden. Quick ball coming back to the right side of the field. Queens struggling to get the ball out of that breakdown. Quick hands faked. 
inside run. Ruck support is there. Madison passing down the back, down the left side of the field now. Changing direction of attack. Looking to find a gap in that Laval defensive wall. There hasn't been one all day. Maggie Banks with a big hard run. Maggie Banks just sat Laval down. Queens Green. alternating left and right attacks. Two big tackles for Laval. Unfortunate, not making any headway. They go in left and right. The Laval defense is strong and solid. That's seven. Lizzie Gibson for Queens with another strong run. Very strong indeed. That was three Laval players who had to take Lizzie Gibson down. Queens getting over top of that rock. Madison hitting trailing. No, she comes back to the right. Magley Harvey looking for a gap. Nothing there. Laval countering quite well. Queens going left with the ball. Number six there for Laval. Simard. Queens. Penalty awarded. Let's see the replay on that if we can. Uh... It looks as though Megalee is going to take this opportunity to kick for a line out. Here's the replay on uh, that. No, we're going to miss that replay. Here's one of our promotions. Canada's best cross-country runners head to Halifax next Saturday afternoon for the U 2022 U Sports Men's and Women's Cross-Country Championships. Catch every second of the races beginning at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, only on CBC Gem, cbcsports.ca, and CBC Sports app. So Laval's number seven, Leah, Leah Ouellette, has left the field. Replacement player now on. Haven't caught that number yet. Queens line out inside the 22 meter line. Number 17 for Queens, that's Madeline May. Full line out for Queens. Madeline Thompson at scrum half for Queens. One by Queens, they've got the drive on. Laval gonna need to maintain their feet. Queens crowd here, trying to, supporters trying to get behind their team. They're not going anywhere, Laval's disrupting this quite nicely. Queens are going to want to get the ball out of there. It's gone down, and yep. the ball is not produced. Laval wins that battle. Great work by Laval there. Still got plenty of rugby to go. We've got 19 minutes. Just watch on the replay. You can see the Laval defensive effort to push that forward. That ball's not coming out of there. And the excitement from the players as the referee blows the whistle. Laval scrum on their own 22 meter line, 23 meter line. You'll see Queens captain Lizzie Gibson now packing down in the number eight spot. She's still got the seven jersey on, but she slid into the eight position. Leads me to believe that Emily Butterworth might be off the field. Number eight pick and drive. Going sideways, if not backwards, Laval with that aggressive defensive tackling. You mean Queens? Sorry. Thank you, Keith. It's all good. It's all good. Laval has numbers to their left. Clearance kick coming. Here comes that kick. Looks like number 11. Chase Tom from the near, near side winger coming down on the chase. That's 14. Laura Gay. Queens oh, wow. did well. Crunching tackle from number 21. On her Jaden Walker. Just got crunched there, but managed to keep the ball. Noemi Tremblay with that fantastic tackle. Champagne here, picking the ball up. Crossfield kick. Good territory here. Fullback, Jaden Walker for Queens. Trying to find a gap. Made about five meters. Queens, player, back Queens player just in the near foreground down on the pitch. Two uh, attendees out. Play will continue on. If that play comes back. Oh, there it is. She's back on her feet. I think that's winger Carmen Isaac on this near side. Yes, it is, number 11. She's on her feet. Queens with the ruck win on the far side of the field. Queens, unfortunately, going backwards here. They've uh, All that aggressiveness has, has really got them nowhere. They look to kick behind the near side winger. There's a bit of an opportunity. Little uh, dummy there. Show and go. Are the forwards there in support? Yes, they are. Still Queens ball. Hard tackling again from Laval. We've seen that all night. There's Siobhan Siren trying to get through. She's got some distance. Pick Wasn't held. Again. Not held, so she can go. Magley Harvey at the nine position. 
Queens with a bit of go forward momentum now. They need to keep that up. They've got a long way to go to get down the pitch. This is tiring for those forwards. Running by herself. Multi back, back for support. Multiple phases of play here for Queens. Inside pass. Beautiful. That's, That's no number one. Really great connection Jillian between those two. Taking the ball at pace. Look at how fast the Laval defense is up. Forcing Queens to try to shoot a gap, giving them no chance to make running plays. Kushner just tripped up there. Jaden Walker out to the left, out to the right here. She's got a good drive going down on the deck. They're going to want fast ball. Laval's turned that over. Fantastic Great defense. job by Laval to turn that ball over. That's Number Laura, 14. Laura Gay stepping back inside to make sure she doesn't get pushed out of bounds. Frechette with a box kick. There's nobody back there. That's winger. Mom and Isaac picking it up. She's running across field for now. Going to have to try and look. Turns it upfield, heads straight ahead, and gets well tackled by Laval, who are still competing for the ball. Queens retains possession. The forward there running back into her pack. Safe defense. Laval through. A lot but of pressure by Laval. They're off their feet. Let's see if there's a penalty. There it is. Laval off their feet and over top of that tackle. A little too over enthusiastic. Hey, you, you sports fans. You too can celebrate today's gold medal victory by either Laval or Queens with your very own commemorative apparel from T. Lizen Sports. Starting tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, visit shopusports.ca to purchase your piece of history. But hurry, supplies will go fast on this limited time offer. That's the U Sports Championship Collection on sale tomorrow at shop.usports.ca. Just seeing a replay of Magley Harvey cutting back inside. Penalty against Laval for not releasing. Line out on the near side. Three Laval players coming onto the pitch as substitutions. Fresh legs. We have number three heading off for Laval. That will be uh, and Caro. So and Sophie Caro. Her shift for the day is done. Num number eight as well for Laval. That would be That's the captain. captain. Marie-Pierre Fateau. Well played today. As well as try scorer number 15. Alexina tardif Sampson. We'll try to get some numbers on who those replacement players are. Bear yep. with us, folks. Madeline May throwing in for Queens. Good take at the front of the line out. Pass down. And oh. knocked forward by Queens. Smartly down on the ball so Laval doesn't get a chance to play it. Nerves as we enter the last 14 minutes of play. Queens are going to feel the pressure. Looking to come back from a 12-point deficit against a very strong Laval team. Beautiful attacking set-piece position on the field here. The Laval backs will force the Queens backs to make some decisions of which way they're going to line up. Opportunity for an 8-9 pick yet again. Many options available for this Laval team. If you're a better man, Chris, and uh, Julie, what are you going to see? She has options left and right, but we've seen the eight-man pick and go with the support of the nine for a nice pop pass. There you go. Good call. You can see Rosalie Charbonneau, number 23, is on for Laval in the backs. Another knock-on. That's a catchable pass. They had a really great play going there. I like the change of direction and the lines from Laval, which creates a little bit of confusion for Queens on defense, but we just need to execute the simple skills. Again, Laval leading Queens by 17 points to five in this U2022, U Sports 2022 National Championship game. Queens with the put in. Laval's going to look to put the shove on as fast as they can. There it there is. You. Massive push. There's the penalty. Laval forwards dominating at the scrum. You can see how excited Laval is on the bench and on the pitch. And here's the replay. That tight five So unit. powerful. 
And Queens knew it. Their heads just down. They're disappointed with that. So it's a penalty, which means we're going to get an, uh, another opportunity for Laval for their line out just outside the Queens 22. Still got 12 minutes to play in this game. If Queens can score a try here as they have two substitutes coming onto the pitch. We'll try and get some numbers. I believe that's number five, Sarah Penman leaving the field. And number one, Lynott leaving the field. Laval ball. There's one forward out in the back line for Laval. It's a mall. They're keeping it on the feet. They're pushing it down the field. They've, they've moved forward about five meters so far. First stoppage. Referee will probably call. There you go. First stoppage. They've started again with forward momentum. It's they're gonna, still a mall. They're going to want to have that ball available, though. Can't, you got to think it's at the back. Can't quite see it, but uh, it's got to be. You got to think it's at the back somewhere. I think those Queens players have quite messed a few this hands up. on there. Yeah. yeah. Still moving forward. Now it's going dangerously close to that sideline. Queens is just going to want to push it out. There's there's for shed at the knee. back. Not coming out of there. Well fought by Queens. A little bit of friendly discussion by a couple of the forwards. <laughs> Just watch the replay. See two players going to deck, and the Queens players got ball and all. Frechette can't squeeze the ball out of there. Asmus calls the penalty. Calls the uh, breakdown. Possession turnover. Queens with the put in. Expect a monster push from Laval. Again, you're right. They've got their uh, confidence right now. They're going to probably wait until the ball's in, and then as a pack, group of eight, Start pumping those legs to try and get some full momentum to push Queens off the ball. See the assistant referee on the far side just looking to make sure the binds are good. Here comes the drive. It looks straight. Massive drive again. Yes. Just disintegrating that scrum. This forward pack is so powerful today. Slow it down. No reason to rush your decision here. Just watch on the replay. There's the push. Everybody moving their legs in unison, and the Queens forward pack just unable to counter. You can see Laval's coach. His hands go up, and he's jumping on the sideline. He's so excited for his team. Laval should be very confident and very proud of their forwards. you got to think that Laval here will uh, aim to keep that mall going forward. Again, they're probably about five or six meters from the Queens try line. They've got a very strong pack. They've obviously shown that in the scrums. If I'm a better man, that would be the play here. Clean line out win. Went short. Yeah, they went down the blind side of the pitch. Well defended by Queens. Scramble defense. Keeping it in the pack. About There's a meter that two. drive. Somebody's over the line. Did they ground it? Did they ground it? We're waiting. Asmus is... Laval looks excited held as if up. they've ground it. Referee, Indic I believe. Indication from the referee is held up. Held up. That's that uh, hand, above, hand above hand motion that she indicates. Watch the drive here. So Thank Queens will have a uh, re-kick from the try line, the goal line. Just watching the replay. That might have been number four for Queens getting underneath that. Magley Harvey out for the drop kick as far as she can. Number 10 for, for Laval there. Laurence Chabot with a great take down the blind side to recent substitute 23, Rosalie Charbonneau. Unfortunately, it's Elizabeth a high Rates. tackle. Again, Laval having the opportunity just to take them time. Kicking for a line out. Another line out opportunity, other side of the field, but five meters away from their try line. The Laval forwards all getting together in a huddle. They're making their, they're making sure they're on alignment with the call. There'll be a no hurry or rush or urgency to play this ball. Looks like the hooker is just off the field right now and coming back on, drying the ball. The Paige Tremblay being told the call by her colleague, number 17, Leclerc. Cecile, great take at the back there. Oh, we have a... Great hands by number eight, MP. 
two meters from the line one meter from the line and over Forward another with try, try by Laval so exciting even the referee got a hug from Laval player let's just watch that replay that was a great try by Laval off the line out short of the line there Forwards regroup. Number 17, 17 Cecile Matt. Leclerc, recently onto the pitch for the second half substitution, saw the opportunity to dive directly for the line, avoided contact to get the try. Here comes Audrey Champagne for the convert attempt. As the light begins to fade, we can see some pink clouds in the distance and the stadium lights are on. Pushed, pushed it wide. Yeah, just pushed it off to the far side. 22 to 5 for Laval as we enter the last five minutes of play in this year's U Sports 2022 Women's Rugby Championships here at the University of Victoria Centennial Stadium. You can see the Queens players asking for more support from the crowd. That was Lizzie Gibson looking at the crowd. Get them pumped up. Looks like it's coming this way as well. They're saying this game is not over. Nice high restart kick. Laval coming up underneath that. Well taken, but the ball did spill forward. Yeah. There's the advantage to Queens. They'll get the put in at the scrum. Time for the Gales to gather and center their focus on making sure they get a solid scrum win. Lizzie Gibson just trying to rally her team here with the final final push here. Queens does not have time to waste here. I think we'll see uh, number eight pick. Eight passing it back on the ground to nine. Awkward pass to ten. She's picked it up. Maggie Banks with a hard Bosch run through the middle. Taken down by number eight there. Emily Butterworth. Sorry. Laval right there to counterattack. That's Gibson with an offload pass to Jaden who's come in from her fullback position. Queens again trying to smash it up the middle. And once more Laval with a strong defensive tackle. There's just no gaps. Even when they get through, they get pulled down, as we just saw. Queens gathering again. Hit a trailing pot of forward, see what they can find. Laval, Laval, Laval spreading out in defense, aggressively coming up to make the tackle behind the gain line. Textbook stuff, they give away the penalty, not rolling away, tap and go from Queens. Going to stay with the support. She awkward, does. awkward. Out the left side for Queens and oh. bobbled forward. Looks like it went backwards. Referee's going to let it play on. Queens with the drive. I think Laval are relishing the challenge of playing defense for another two minutes. So strong in their forward going tackles. They are not letting up. It's Maggie Banks with the ball looking to slide through a gap. Tackled again. Carmen Isaac over top of the ball in support. Winger for Queens. More hard rucking from the Queens team. There's Laval with those tackles up in the defensive line. Another great tackle behind the gain line. Offside. Queens is going to tap and go. They've got Laval go. has to retreat 10. They've done that. Inside pass. There's Laval again with the tackle. Queens are just outside the Laval 22. Straight ahead running from the Queen's back line. Net that red wall from Laval. Equal to the challenge, not giving an inch. Out the back door pass. Stepping inside is Isaac, the winger. Queen's are over top. 
Look at Laval come up and pressure defense making those tackles. No way through for the Queens Gales. Just look at the red line from Laval again. How well drilled they are. I'm so impressed with Laval's discipline. Yeah. And they're just hungry for the ball. Evenly spread across the field, leaving no Looks gaps. Looks like they've uh, taken it against the head, but maybe just a knock on here. Knock on. Looking up at the clock, Keith, I see 79 minutes. Give a quick shout out to the U Sports team as we see a replay of that action. Just see the ball bobbled right at the back there. There it was, a little unlucky. Julia, thanks for your help these uh, past few games. Look forward to working with you again in the future. Look forward to watching you play for Canada again in the future. Thank you so much. Thank you for the invitation. This has been a blast. We're all looking forward to the Canada Sevens in, uh, in a few months. And That's right. I look forward to seeing you guys in the crowd, dressed up, of course. Absolutely, Julia. We'll be supporting you, <laughs> you on the field. Justin, our producer, thanks for our help. Jillian on the cameras, the rest of the crew. Alexis from UVic. Fantastic few days of rugby. Back to action on the field. There's the put-in from, from uh, Queens. Eight-man pick. They're going to attack the blind side. There goes Izik for the first run she's really had today. Stuffed in the tackle by Laval. Look at that red line from Laval again. Up they come. They Queens played. trying to get through. Queens is going to bash it up again. They've got bodies over top. Passing it out wide. Looking for any gap. And the spilled ball. Pressure just getting to Queens. They're just not finding a way through. Really Look. unfortunate knock-on at the 80-minute mark. I'm sure the captains are asking how much time is left to play. Thank you to referee Asmus and the, line, and the assistant referees today. Thank you to all the fans and the crowd. Great support for this uh, event. Yeah, I can imagine number nine, Corinne Frechette, is asking the referee how much time left, how much time do we have to kill until we can kick this ball out. Quick shout out to Choyle Brown and uh, the team from Sports Canada TV. Somebody we've had the fortunate uh, privilege of working to with for several years. Always great to work with Choyle and, uh, and the, his crew. Laval with the put in at this scrum. No time left on the clock. Queens are going to put one big shove in here, see what they can get. Laval looking to take the ball down the right side of the pitch. Easily winning the scrum, although there's a bit of a shove from Queens. There's the pick and go. Bobbled oh. ball at the back. We're going to see a Queens. No. Game there it is. is. Over. Game over. Congratulations, Rude All, Laval University. You are the 2020, 2022 U Sports Women's Rugby Champions. We're going, to go, we're going to step aside for a quick break, and when we return, our coverage of the on-field celebration continue, as well as the award ceremonies. You're watching U Sports on CBC. Sports fans, check out shop.usports.ca for this week's promotional item from the Nike Team Collection. Visit the shop.usports.ca to profit of the promotion of the semaine of the collection Nike Team. So we actually had the number one and number two seeded teams playing each other. I didn't realize that. 
How did you not Is realize that? Is that how it worked out? What have you been paying attention to? Did you realize that, Julia? Of course no. she did. We yes. both realized yes, yes, that yes, over yes, here. Yes. <laughs> well, welcome back. Just as we see both teams here on the field. Again, you've just seen a phenomenal game. Laval are the 2020-2022 U-Sports National Women Rugby Champions. They've just beaten Queens by a score of 22-5 to five in a wonderful game here. Just seeing both, player, both sets of players give thanks to each other and the referee for a wonderful game. I hope all of you at home as well really enjoyed that, uh, that wonderful game of rugby. Yeah, that was a great match by Laval and Queens. Now a medal ceremony. Queens took championship last year, I believe. Laval is really excited to take gold this year. You can see them on the pitch cheering each other on. They are jumping for joy. Throughout this entire tournament, we have to give congratulations to the Laval team for their uh, organization. They've had such a strong defense. Chris, we've seen that. We noticed that on day one. They've shown it all the way through to the end. They're a hard team to beat with that solid, strong defense that they've shown here today. Yeah, and a great crowd. You can just hear it in the background, but the Queens players are coming over right in front of the grandstands here to give thanks to the crowd. You can't, uh, can't play this game without the support of the parents and everybody there. You see the crowd in, in the shot. And, uh, of course, Laval's celebrating, but Queen shouldn't be too disappointed. A phenomenal season for them, outscoring their opponents significantly and, and really giving Laval a battle. But that defense from Laval was a clinic. All game today and all throughout the games we've seen them, coming up aggressively, not missing tackles, and pushing the offensive players backwards. So much easier to play this game when your defense is going forward. So congratulations to both teams. Certainly a shout out to all the officials, the match officials that have been making everything work so smoothly, helping to keep the players safe. Thank you to all the staff, the facility workers here in the stadium and across the country. I know we've got directors in, uh, in Vancouver and back east. Now there's time to uh, be handing out the trophy, the hardware, the silverware, some gold medals, some silver medals. As you can see Laval pulling on some championship hats, perhaps. Both teams will be gathering here on the track in front of the grandstands. You know, the Queens, uh, Queens players should certainly hold their heads up high. They gave it everything. They gave us a wonderful championship final game here. Entertaining rugby, but let's give it up to Laval. They came through. They were unbeaten in all three games. They've just shown an absolute dominance in their defense and well-deserved champions here for the U Sports 2022 National Women's Rugby Champions. Rouge et Or with some fantastic rugby aujourd'hui. Merci beaucoup à tous les athlètes. So Chris, this has been our first uh, championship uh, commentary. We certainly hope the players, the ex-players, the families and the friends across the country have enjoyed it. This is something that we do in our free time, our part time, and we certainly hope that you've enjoyed this wonderful rugby as well like we have. Congratulations to number 15, Jaden Walker, Nike player of the match. She had a great tournament and a great gold medal match. And of course, congratulations to number nine, Corinne Frechette, on Nike Player of the Match and a gold medal. Fantastic scrum half play all day from Frechette. Yeah. This is the Fair Play Award. 
the University of PEI Panthers winning the Fair Play Award. Of course, they were uh, one of the teams that stayed around, and we see a couple of representatives now coming out to the uh, middle of the track to receive their awards. UPEI Panthers. Yeah, fair play award to recognize their respect, the integrity, and of course, fair play of PEI. And like you mentioned, they stuck around today to cheer on the rest of the teams as they finished up the championship. Really throughout all the games we broadcast, we've seen uh, great respect for the game and for the match officials. Being recognized for her performance, Gabrielle. Wonderful to see these players being recognized for their performances today. Seeing players from both teams. I believe we're actually announcing the tournament all-stars. Just checking with our production offices as we look to get updates. Yeah, we are indeed. We're announcing the uh, top 15, the Tournament All-Stars. Of course, a lot of players will be uh, coming from the Queens Gales and Laval Rouge Ors, but we'll also be certainly seeing names called from other teams. They may or may not be in attendance. If they are, they've been invited down onto the track. Yeah, just the announcer is asking that the other players are able to come down and join Laval and the Queens players. So anybody else that we have in the crowd are being asked to come down if they were selected as the tournament all-stars. <laughs> There's Lucy Romeo joining. Just as we see the All-Stars getting their picture taken, a nice loud round of applause for everybody and we await the trophy presentation. Captain of Queens is being asked to step forward as the silver medals are given out to her and her team. Number one, Jill Lynott. Number two, Riley Rowowski. That was Number two, Riley Rowowski. Number three, Maya Brubaker, Brubacker. Number four, Grace Anderson. Number five, Sarah Penman. Number six, Siobhan Shirin. Number seven, Lizzie Gibson. Number eight, Emily Butterworth. Number nine, Magalie 
Harvey. Number 10, Madeline Kushner. Number 11, Carmen Isaac. Number 12, Maggie Banks. Number 13, Madison Donnelly. Number 14, Amelia Stapley. Number 15, Jaden Walker. Number 16, Jane Armitage. Number 17, Madeline May. Number 18, Carly Mosgrove. Number 19, Maxwell Grant. Number 20, Sophia Tafel. Number 21, Madison Thompson. Number 22, Chella Prince. Number 24, Rachel Cullum. Number 23, Micah Matabukubo. And number 25, Izzy Page. Chris, would you like to do the uh, Laval team? You're probably better at the French than me. I will give it my best effort. Thank you, Keith. One last time for the silver medalist Queens. Crowd are giving their uh, appreciation. Number one. Number one, Gabrielle Piquet. Number two, Rosalie Lepage Tremblay. Number three, Anne Sophie Caro. Number four, Andréanne Valois. Number five, Annabelle Perron. Number six, Anne, Anne Frederic Simard. Number seven, Leah Ouellette. Number eight, Marie-Pierre Fateau. Number nine, Corinne Fréchette. Number 10, Laurent Chabot. Number 11, Anne Gilbert. Number 12, Audrey Champagne. Number 13, Marie-Laura Choquette. Number 14, Laura Gay. Number 15, Alexina Tardif Samson. Number 16, Chloe Maranda. Number 17, Cecile Leclerc. Number 18, Yves Marie Boudreau Forks. Number 19, Mar Yves Marie Hull. Number 20, Alexis Lachapelle Johnston. Number 21, Naomi Tremblay. Number 22, Elizabeth Reyes. Number 23, Rosalie Charbonneau. Number 24, Alice Thibergeau. Number 25, Roseanne Labbe. I apologize for the mispronunciations. Now we have the banner presentation, U Sports Nam National Championships, Laval, 
getting the chance to spread the banner out. Laval Rougeor. Hey, you Laval Rougeor fans, you too can celebrate today's gold medal victory by Laval with your very own commemorative apparel from the T. Lidson Sports. Starting tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, visit shopusports.ca to purchase your piece of history. But hurry, supplies will go fast on this limited time offer. Once again, that's the U Sports Championship Collection. On sale tomorrow at shop.usports.ca. This wraps up another amazing season of U Sports Women's Rugby, and we are glad that you joined us this weekend from the University of Victoria. On behalf of our production crew here on the ground in BC, our ISI live production team back in Ottawa, and U Sports, we'd like to thank you for your ongoing support of University Sport in Canada. The final score today, Rouge et Or de Laval defeat Queen's Gales by a score of 22 to 5 in the U Sports Women's Rugby Championships. A reminder that CBC Sports is your exclusive home for all U Sports Championships. Next weekend, the U Sports Men's and Women's Soccer and Cross Country Championships come your way on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca beginning on Thursday, followed by the Men's Football Playoffs November 19th on the road to the Canada Life Vanier Cup on CBC Saturday, November 26th. We hope you'll join us for more exciting new sports actions. This has been Chris Blackman, Keith Lumby, and Julia Greenshields bidding you a good night. Au revoir from Victoria and U Sports on CBC. U Sports on CBC presented by Les Championnats U Sport, une présentation de Fox 40. Title partner of the U Sports Coach of the Year Awards. Fier partenaire des prix des entraîneurs de l'année U Sport. Veraburn Medical Supply. Exclusive sports medicine and medical supply partner of U Sports. Le partenaire exclusive de U Sport en matière de médecine sportive et des fournitures médicales. Nike Team. Exclusive performance apparel provider. Just do it. Fier partenaire de U Sport. Faites-le. Baron, exclusive championship rings and recognition jewelry provider to U Sports. Le fournisseur officiel des bagues et bijoux commémoratifs des championnats U Sports. Sport Canada, funding partners of U Sports. Sport Canada, partenaire financier de U Sports.